What's going on guys? So in this video, this is gonna be like a first initial impression. Because if y'all know, this is my first diesel and uh, I've always had gas trucks and stuff. And so I wanna get my real first opinion on driving it. And for those that don't know, I have a 2019 Silverado 1500. So kind of doing comparisons between it because that's my normal daily driver. And then I've got this, which I got this last night. So I've driven it today to work and stuff. And I just want to get my first impressions. So even in stock form, it's it's not a real rough ride, but it's definitely it's not nearly as good as my uh, 2018, which should make sense. But it, it it does have a three inch leveling kit on it, whereas this thing is bone stock suspension wise. Um, obviously, it has a lot less miles, but as far as the ride, it's not harsh but it's definitely a little rougher and you can definitely feel the weight. With that being said though, this truck feels very small, which is awesome. Obviously it's the extended cab, which is really good in case I do want to drive this very frequently because I do a lot of parking lot stuff and everything like that. So this truck is very easy to drive. It's very, it's pretty narrow, it's pretty short. <clears throat> I mean in here, I mean it, it Basically, if you look at this truck specifically on the outside, you might think it's a 1500 because it has the little mirrors, it's the extended cab. It doesn't look very big. Of course, it's got the big front, bulky, bulky front end, but this truck is like the perfect size to enjoy yet um, have room. And obviously, extended cab doesn't have a ton of room in the back, but it's definitely enough for people to get in and, you know, maybe they won't like it if you have to go three hours to <laughs> three hours down the road or something like we did in this last night. But um, short trips and stuff, not bad at all. This is a stock exhaust, everything. Oof, that little spool down is dirty. So, it is, uh, it's extremely quiet. Stock, completely stock exhaust, muffler, cat, all the, whatever it's got under there, it's still got it. Obviously, you can hear the engine being a diesel. You can hear the turbo pretty good, actually. I was actually pretty surprised that you could hear the turbo as good as you can. Um, you can hear it starting to spool up. My favorite is obviously when it gets up to like, I don't really know exactly what RPM, but it starts to light and then you let off and you can hear it spool down. Oh yes, we gotta make that much, much louder. Which I don't know if you can see in the bed, I've already got a full exhaust for it. I won't give away exactly what it is and whatnot, but I've already got a full exhaust. Literally ordered it before I went to get the truck and got it within 24 hours. Now, take in mind, I've had this truck less than 24 hours. Already got the exhaust. Over there, we've got all new oil. We've got a uh, new fuel filter, trans filter, um, oil. Uh, what else did I get? I got something else. I can't remember. Changing all the fluids. Um, well, changed the oil, then all the filters and everything. Um, but overall, um, driving experience is awesome. It's got plenty of power, even bone stock. I mean, it's got plenty. You mat it or you give it like over 50%, 75. It gets out of its way pretty decent. I mean, this is a very heavy truck. Obviously, the extended cab, a little shorter, a little less weight. But, I mean, it does pretty dang good. We'll get one more little stock exhaust clip right here. Honestly, you can't even hear the exhaust. You can just hear the turbo, hear the engine a little bit. So um, that's kind of depressing, but we're fixing that very soon. So at highway speeds, this thing is actually pretty awesome. Obviously, there's a little bit of steering wheel slop, um, but it's nothing too bad. Um, but this thing, it doesn't ever downshift. You just give it a little bit of throttle, and it, it pulls over hills. And I guess, you know, that's just the torque kicking in, but... It's actually really nice. Um, you're, you, of course, you've only got like 4,000 RPMs to work with, and that's like, I don't even think it revs that high stock. But you never go over 2,000. Um, if it wasn't for the tires, 
it'd be pretty dang quiet in here. There's a little squeak going on up there. I don't know if y'all can hear it. I gotta track that down. But uh, yeah, going down the highway, we're running 60 right now, and you know it's a little rough. I think it has to do some of these tires as well. Um, yeah, but then again, it is a heavy, older truck. But <clears throat> as far as the driving experience, it's pretty sweet. I mean, honestly, and I, this is me, you know, of course, comparing it to my other truck and I guess things in the past and whatnot. But um, it's pretty nice to be able to just kind of breathe on the throttle. And this thing's, as far as I'm aware, bone stock. I mean, the only thing it could possibly have would be a tune, and I don't think it has one. But everything else is completely bone stock. So even in bone stock form, it's pretty dang, it's pretty dang nice that it, it literally you just just give it a tiny bit of throttle and you can start hearing that turbo start to light. And it just picks up. Um, on the drive home last night, of course we went, we drove like three hours to get this thing. So on a three hour drive back, I mean honestly. I had to catch myself a couple times because I was, you know, the speed limit would be like 65 and I'd be over there doing 80 and, well, not really 80, usually about 75, but it, once it starts pulling up there around the 2,000 RPM range, I mean, it, it it's ready to run. So the brakes are not absolutely amazing. I do probably need to put some new brakes on this thing, um, which is not that big a deal. It's got 180,000 miles on it, so, you know, who knows when it got changed, but um, that's one thing that does definitely need to get changed. And so we'll be stopping better because this is a very heavy truck. So I definitely want to do that, especially probably before I get some um, wheels and tires for this truck because bigger wheels and tires be harder on the brakes as he is, and they're already not the greatest. So we definitely do need to do that. But um, driving, like coming into the diesel, like you know, people that get the, get diesels and stuff are like, oh, they ramble on it and they go crazy and they hate gassers and. I don't see why they hate gassers. I obviously don't see that because I still love gas trucks, but instantly the turbo thing, the turbo is instantly addictive. 100%, no questions asked, very, it's just awesome. Um, once we get the exhaust on, obviously then we will have the full diesel sound. Um, you smell it. So sometimes you smell the diesel and it smells very good. And I know this is probably a weird video because whatever but I want to make this for people that um, have never owned a diesel and might be interested let's put the sunroof back up because that's loud um, yeah and it says let's see here it's saying we, we're averaging 17.6 miles to the gallon so if we're doing that that's freaking sick um, and a stock truck that's pretty awesome if that's accurate um, driving around town it's got plenty of pickup highways it likes to run um, just like now just kind of ease on the throttle turbo starts to light picks up fine um, it's pretty enjoyable I'm not gonna lie I hate to hate on the gas truck but it's pretty nice not to have to downshift it's pretty nice not to which I know mine's loud so I mean I did that to myself but it's pretty nice to be able to just cruise and just hang a gear and just maintain your speed because and honestly this one you know it's got it doesn't have stock tires but it's got probably the same size tires that came stock on it so it's not really struggling you know like my other truck that's got 33s on it which are not that big but it does have very big wheels which are very heavy so that truck it sometimes feels like you can feel the weight you can feel it kind of draining it when you, you know, come up on a hill or something like that and it's kind of like uh it's trying to lug and then it, it just has to downshift in order to, to maintain speed and you know, who knows, I don't know what this one will be. I feel like obviously being diesel, having a lot of torque, not gonna be nearly as affected. Usually these have a much steeper gear ratio as well. But um, it's nice not to have to downshift and, and it's, the truck just have power right then. This thing is like at the, the lowest it can be, it's bone stock. So it's pretty awesome what the potential is. But overall it has been a pretty awesome experience right here driving. Obviously everything is working, I've not had any major issues there's been a couple of odd things and noises and stuff like that that I'm trying to dial in and, and see what all everything's about obviously it's a new truck to me it's a 2006 it's got 180,000 miles on it uh, everything is not perfect everything there, there's probably gonna be a couple little finicky things that I have to work out and whatnot but um, 
as far as initial driving experience, it's been pretty awesome. I, and hopefully this is an enjoyable video. I'm probably going to bump these out pretty quick because I've got a lot of video ideas to put together. It's it's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's pretty it's it's pretty fun. And this this truck on the inside is nice. So like your radio and stuff, climate control, everything like that. Yeah, it looks really outdated. But everything works. The Bose sound system, it sounds just as good as new vehicles. Um, but leather, this one has got a couple places where the leather's gone bad just from wear and tear, which I plan to replace. But these seats, these seats are super comfy. Very comfortable. Everything feels pretty good. Um, nothing too hard plasticky, kind of soft plastics everywhere. And uh, yeah, I mean, initial impressions, I can get used to this because it's gonna be fun. Just got to get it sounding right and uh, looking right, but I'm pretty much gonna leave y'all with that initial impressions. I'm pretty hyped for this truck. It's bone stock, but we're gonna we're gonna change it pretty quick. So uh, y'all leave your feedback down in the comments, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.